Welcome back to the channel guys. As you can see, Alpina B12 is here. It's been an exciting week for me last week. Um, it was completely random, accidental, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like, a, from one side of me wanted this car, other side just like, no, stay away, it's another headache. I mean, you got enough projects, but uh, I mean, it is what it is card is here so how did i purchase watch now there she is and that switched off bloody hell that is so scary <laughs> I can't open it. She's got half a tank of fuel in it. Everything is in water. Let's try. <laughs> now let's try to start it. I think it's not gonna start. Oh no, it does start. It does start. Surprise, surprise! Oh, I just can't like, uh, you know, I don't think the M5 would do anything here. This car left it alone for two months. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't misfire. That's good. It's got, it's, it's got a cover of, it's not something got the cover inside. It had, when I got it, it had a 5.7 badge over there. Yeah. Which was loose. We lifted it and found it. I'll put that inside. But, so small bits and pieces I've got, and all I'm trying to do is Whenever I find more small bits and pieces, I just keep that with them. There's this actually the number of ways with the there. Yeah. mold man oh it needs a weird kind of vacuum noise when you switch it off i don't know what that is it's like a vacuum being you know um being switched off can you hear 
Yeah, yeah, probably CCV or PCV, whatever oh, it's called. Okay. I mean, it's only when you it off. I do expect some stuff like that. Mm. The wheels, these are good. Bilstein shocks. Why am I buying project? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got so many. I got so many. That's why I bought this in the first place. And I said, no, look, it's, I mean, it's done 330. They're not that badly worn. For like 200k miles. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I I've, seen, wo I've seen worse. I said it just needs a clean in there. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I thought once I get it tidy and all that, I just want to. Because I pay for the insurance on this every year. So it's still insured. Why? Because uh, the insurance is only 250 quid a year. Ah, Classic yeah, car. Why, why I don't not? want to lose it. So I carry on paying it. So it's still insured. But that's why I said I just want to drive it once a week. Oh, it's got a ski bag as well. Yeah. It's not like you're going to go skiing. No, but... no, <laughs> you get to get one too many people in there shoving through there. Yeah. <laughs> the only yeah. trouble, obviously, is the congestion law kicking in is going to cost me an extra 12 odd pounds a, a day. A day to drive on the other side of the North Circle. I'm a, right now I'm outside the North Circle so I can drive around this area. What I've noticed in pictures, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. I really wasn't sure. Uh, I, but yeah, that that side is sticking out more than that. Yeah, they're a bit wonky. Yeah, when I got it, it was like that. There, it was like that. Need, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one of the things I need being rectified. And now I've asked him, does happen. it has our original exhaust? Like, uh, I don't know if the original. But, but I mean, it maybe. looks like it. To me, it seems like it's been welded somewhere. The person who owned it before me, I found out, was uh, a chap in Birmingham. Apparently, they're not uh, best known for their. Uh, <laughs> French city or the way they do things, they like cutting corners. So it's a chap in Birmingham owned it. Um, and then this the car like that, you can't cut the corners. Well, he did because where this car ended up, weirdly enough, was this car ended up from him, it ended up in an auction, classic cars auction, where well, as a seven series. I don't know where, but that's then I picked it up from a chap in Windsor. He was buying a house, but he's got he's got some really nice cars. Chap in Windsor, uh, he's a seat guy. I don't, I'm Jed knows him well. He apparently bought uh, um, Abzal Khan's uh, V12 or the E65 Alpina of him. All so right. That as well. His father's a big collector. He had lots of cars. And it's because of him, his father, I got this car insured at that price. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had it insured at that price. Uh, oh, because all, of him? All, all the electrics and everything work on the car. The only thing that doesn't work, like I said, is because the, the front bit doesn't work, the parking side, park distance control doesn't work. But the sunroof, um, well, they left that yeah. up, so it's down. But that the rear blind work, all the windows work, all of that side worked. So I don't think um, if I ever put it on cool, I don't think I ever got cold air out of it. Uh, probably heater valve. That's quite common yeah. nowadays because the car is over 20 years old. Yeah, so it wouldn't do that. But apart from that, all the electrics and everything worked fine. And as usual, the uh, the pixels on that were yeah, yeah, yeah. as usual expected. But for what it was, the gearbox was a oh, fantastic gearbox, no yeah. issues, really, really powerful because it's got no turbos in it. Yeah, I mean, just it just speed. goes. Yeah. And then it's left hand drive. So when you drive on the other wrong side of the road at that speed, it um, seems a lot scary as well. <laughs> uh, you get used to it eventually. Yeah, but it is a lot smoother to drive than the other because the others have turbos in it now. It sort of kicks in straight away. Yeah, yeah. but this one drives really smooth, really nice. That's the... That's good, that's good. Heating the AC works, that means ABS block is fine. Need this, but that can be sorted. I mean, who does that? Like, sake of oh, screw 10, 10 quid, you know, like. That might have been a replacement for all I know. I think we uh, replaced that replacement. So that yeah, might I'll, have been I'll need to so get, in, get inside from this side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to touch that steering wheel. Uh. Do you want a cloth wipe the steering wheel? Yes, please. Ah, oh, look at that. 
need a switch, obviously from left hand right. And it's probably jammed. Oh, look at this mold, they need a proper detail. Yeah, all the radio stuff is fucked. So, yeah. still haven't decided what. Should I buy it? Or should I not to buy it? It drives all right. I mean, needs little bits and pieces, but drives all right. Uh, can't decide. A few moments later. All right, guys. She's on and she's bored. Let the journey begin. She's on. And she will be going to triple seven garage. Shot most of it, and a nice ceiling. <laughs> it's number six. The same one from the magazine. That's it guys. Alpine is back at my trailer. I'm heading back to my base and we're gonna inspect it. So you seen how the purchase went. I mean it took me that this this probably was the longest I ever viewed the car. And plus after a viewing, I was like thinking like at least half an hour, like my mate Martin was with me, which sort of uh, inspired me one way and other way is like do you really need this I mean in my mind there was a uh, loads of thoughts first of all I want to uh, tell you why I was in two thoughts to actually buy it I mean probably someone else would say oh it's no-brainer blah 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 but in my case as you've seen obviously I have like loads of cars like loads of cars which needs attention there and there and I'm alone and just like I couldn't ad justify in my mind should I just really buy this it's like one of sort of one of one opportunity to own the B12 and I was like sitting there waiting thinking was like what 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 should I do like that was the ma my main issue to actually buy this car or sh like or should I just step away and just focus on my other cars but I was like you know what once in a life opportunity decent price obviously needs work and i was like mm. you know what it w originally he wanted 13 grand and i was like do us 1250 and i was like dumb maybe them 500 quid, uh, quid in detailing or something you know like give us a tiny tiny bit of motivation and he was like you know what uh, i'm not gonna argue sake of 500 quid which i really appreciate that and i was like and we done the deal. So she rolled on the trailer. So here she is in the garage, in the current state, haven't been washed, haven't sort of went off the trailer straight in. She's been sitting here for like two days. All I've done is I literally just walked around, inspect like little bits and pieces. And what can I say to like, whoever owned this car before, like, I'm not currently saying the previous owner of this car. Yeah, I mean, he purchased it four years, maybe five years ago at 8,000. He dumped another 5,000 in. That's why, in sake, he wanted 13 grand for it. Uh, it done, someone done a respray, done, I think, this and pads, bill stain, shocks all around, and some other bits and pieces. Uh, they said they couldn't, uh, they couldn't reset the airbag light, they, so they couldn't past the MOT, so that's why it's been sat in drive three or four years. In them three and four years, obviously, you would imagine stuff gets rusted, like bolts and nuts. I mean, uh, you'll see in a minute what's ex what exactly I don't like about this car. Um, it's, 
it's also the previous owner before him, like instead of spending a couple hundred quid there and there, putting a genuine nice new parts, they just butcher stuff like they don't really care about it. Like I can tell straight away. Overall, the car condition is fine, like nothing majorly, but it needs loads of attention to detail. I mean, car like that, one of what, 250, you need a sort of, you need every tiny bolt screw matters. I mean, for personally. That's why, for example, my, literally my seven series, like stuff like, I don't know, headlight washers, I don't know, headlights, bolts, they're all spunky new, you know? I mean, sake of one quid there, two quid there, like, I can't, that, that gives more, you can, tell, you can tell straight away the previous owner was looking after it. And it's, it's nothing about, first of all, it's a high mileage. It's done over 200K miles. That was another reason it was like, you know, but if the condition is right, it's worth buying it. It's worth having it, you know? I mean, in this case, it starts and drives fine. I mean, I haven't test driven it at high speed, but I took it maybe one mile there and back. It seemed to be fine. And, um, well, it needs, I reckon it needs a full respray again, because the job is, it's sort of 50-50. It needs a full respray again and attention to detail, like, Subframes, front and back, uh, refreshing, suspension refreshing. It's got new discs and pads all around, that's good. I mean, what else? Um, like all this, whatever you see, tiny rust spots, it probably needs refreshing. And it will take low, it's not about the more, how much money it's gonna take, it's probably more how much like time it's gonna take. And that's why I was thinking, should I really buy this car? Because I ain't got a loads of time. But I can keep this car for the rest of my life, spend maybe every Sunday with it. But knowing me, I was like, my other projects needs sort of my time. So I was like, ah, oh. I don't know. If this YouTube thing turns as a living, so that's fine. I mean, let's do it, you know, but at the moment, this is just a spare hobby thing, you know, like messing about. We'll, we'll see. I mean, we will live and see. But let me introduce this car in and out, starting from the engine bay. So before I introduce you to this car completely, the car came with the two of these magazines. That's literally the same car. This how it used to look in 1996. That's exactly the same car. And number six, so that's exactly the same car. This is how it's supposed to look originally. And this with the Spanish number plates. Uh, someone's already converted facelift, as you can see. No stripes on the side. And, um, well, it looks quite good in these pictures. Oh, it's been badged as a six liter, that's been all removed. Um, yeah, that's the back of it. Like if someone's converted it as a facelift. But yeah, my idea is to convert it back to pre-facelift or as original. Originally it came down from um, factory. So let's start with the engine bay. Um, as you can see, stuff like, whatever you see, tiny rust spots, like bolts, nuts, whatever. That all needs to be replaced, refreshed. Ideally, painted valcover gaskets, uh, well, valcovers. Um, yeah, basically, that all needs to be refreshed. All the rubber seems to be fine. Obviously, vacuum pipe is going to be replaced. Um, check the cooling system. Whatever. I mean, uh, firstly, everything needs to be stripped down to make sure to see what's behind it, and then probably start from there. But now I can see all the rust, rusty bolts, bits and pieces needs to be replaced. That's first of all, and um, well, install what's missing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a original cover. So I'm probably gonna put a standard V12 cover without a 5.7 badge. Um, what else? And as I said, 
needs going back to pre facelift though, so that's all going. Stuff like wires like this is really unacceptable. This all needs to go to bin. Like, what the hell is this? Like, who does this shit? So, wheel wise, um, genuine wheels. Only trouble is, it's got three C95 wheels, which is the valve inside and you got two C94 wheels uh, with the valve outside, basically exposed valve. Uh, I don't know what's the story because of that, but I'm guessing maybe the wheel was damaged or something like that. They just went for a cheaper version. Uh, someone someone in the past done that, so pff, there, there, there is a problem already. So with maybe with four wheels, I could I could do all right with C95s, but there's a fifth spare wheel, which is C95, but what I can do with the three C95 wheels and only two C94s. I wouldn't mind to use C94 as a spare and use four wheels, obviously original C95, but I don't know, we'll see. I mean, at the moment we can leave that. Stuff like this, because this is a facelift wing, so it has a different style a trim. And as you can see, whoever done this in the past, this not original bolt. I can, this, this, like stuff like this bugs me. You know, this like, this is unacceptable. Like for me, this is no, no, no. <sighs> Trim's missing all the way around, but they will be replaced uh, brand new anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, Outside overall is not that bad. These probably stripes gonna go away because they wasn't there originally. Only Alpina lip will be ha will have a stripe. Uh, what else? And I think that's it outside wise. So interior wise, as you can see, whole headlight that needs to come off and replaced. It's like I've never seen such a moldy, disgusting headliner. And originally it's supposed to be grey. Basically, ideally, all seats out, headliner out, checking underneath the carpets, no corrosion on the wires, no, nothing's wet. Um, the blower doesn't work as well, so no hot or cold air. So the dash needs to come out, need to replace the blower, check all the motors. Uh, the stereo doesn't work, the screen even doesn't come on, because um, I'm assuming the car has been parked up like that, so obviously the water was sitting on the rails and literally leaked on the modules. So all the back modules is corroded and dead. Uh, what else? Um, steering, steering wheel needs refreshing. It's not, it's, not, it's not rough, but it needs sort of proper deep clean. I mean, everything needs a proper deep clean. But overall, I'm happy just the leather itself is seemed to be all right. It's just apart from needing needing a clean um i'm just in two minds of what should i do with the headliner should i just custom sort of wrap it in alcantara or because originally it was gray uh or should i just source black i don't know it'll be in two i'm in two minds regards to that um and yeah i think that's about it overall regards to interior uh Heated seats seem to be working, old like no ABS light, apart from airbag light, that needs looking at. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's it inside. Maybe like small bits and pieces, but nothing major-ish. So let's have a look at the boot. So as you can see, um, there is mold as well, pretty much everywhere in the boot. Because as I said, car's been parked up like that and the water was sitting there obviously leaked maybe somewhere eventually same as other side as well so the worst part is probably the battery tray corner i mean it's not rusted through but there is rust pretty much i would say a lot um it's there in the corner i mean plus there is a mold so it's definitely water been inside ah oh, that's another 
bloody headache. Um, yeah, all these modules needs to be replaced. Uh, I can already see water inside the DSP unit. Um, so yeah, I mean, I got all the modules, but just everything needs stripping out and replaced. So stuff like this, whoever done this, and again, needs chopping hands off, like, end of the day, come on, like, they're probably from a deal even, 30 quid, 50 quid, both maybe, I don't know. Like, why would you do this? The most annoying issue, I can't open the driver's door. Probably the lock is jammed. Uh, that's quite common when they sit for a while, but it needs door card off and basically tapping the actual actuator. It might open itself, but I'll leave that for time being. So underneath the middle bit missing, that can be sourced from any E38. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can see a rusty sump, which would you expect? So everything, everything pretty much needs refreshing. You probably don't need a rebuild or something. Suspension probably is good condition, but it's just old. So all the suspension needs refreshing. Um, subframe itself needs refreshing painted. So, as I said, it's probably not a lot of money, but it's more time consuming. Uh, exhaust, all original. I'm not sure if anyone knows what these wires for. Obviously, these are Alpina cats, and you got like two maybe temperature sensors going inside. Um, what else? What else? So, stuff like that really bugs me. Don't like that. That the rust can spread, obviously, a bit more. As you can see, dent is there. Uh, the back subframe needs all, all refreshing as well. The body itself is not really rusty or something, you know. This side of the exhaust is slightly sticking out a bit more than this. This seems to be original, but I don't know what exactly happened there. I can see the welds there. So that needs adjusting. So, oh, it's so much job. I was like, so in one case I want to give up, but other side I just probably need to sleep it over and say tomorrow is a new day and start start from the beginning but as I said it's more about your time rather than money or something else you know but I'm sure it will eventually will pay itself off that's that's why I was like thinking so long do I really want this or need this but as I said, it was once in a life opportunity, so I went for it. So this was quick introduction, how I bought it and what condition it is. As I, I mean, I don't know, like, it's no, for someone it's no big deal. But as I said, it's more time than money or something else, you know, like, it needs to get back to its sort of formal glory, let's say. Everything needs to be back original, as I said, pre facelift like everything needs refreshing. Engine-wise and gearbox-wise, there is no issues whatsoever. It's just like anything else like needs refreshing. I would, sp I would say if I would spend more or less, including, let's say, full respray, I probably would spend seven, eight grand in total, whatever it needs, suspension, like, some small bits and pieces, you know, but, um, and what, that comes with the total cost of more or less 20 grand. And I think for 20 grand, then it would say, I would say it will be min B12. But uh, yeah, I mean, for 20 grand, I don't think you can buy, well, you probably can, but it still would need some something, some small bits. Maybe the uh, lower mileage or some, something, something, something different, but there is pretty much none for sale. I mean, in the UK, 
but I mean, you've seen the car. I'm, I was like, I went for it. You've seen it, and uh, I just need to find time for it to actually work on it. And because um, obviously you've seen my my other projects, uh, I probably will start with my Black 740. I'll finish that off, and I got time till summer to finish the 4.6 swap. And uh, you've seen the Rockstar 750 left-hand drive needs work. Uh, I actually found uh, the back end being slightly crashed in the past and there is a slight rust that needs replacing and needs full respray uh, and plenty of other cars and obviously my E36 V8 supercharged needs needs doing till summer oh so much jobs I was like oh anyway thanks for watching um, subscribe to the channel and see where leave the comment below see what you think in regards to this car did I bought a lemon or, or was it nice buy at that price this time of the year? Like today's 2021. Um, car is over, what, 20 years old, 25. And just let me know what you think and, and I'll see you next time.